Felt just like a mule that kicked me right between my ears When she broke my heart in Walgreens and I cried all the way to Sears There was a time when I believed that she belonged to me She told me that I was the only one she'd ever need That was before this trucker came and took her for a ride Now there's nothing I can do to keep her satisfied Singing this to my daughter the other night, and I couldn't stop singing it. I love singing. Broke my heart in Walgreens, and I cried all the way to Sears. Of course, I had to explain to her what Sears is, or was, because Sears hasn't been around for a long, long time. But uh, why not? You know, maybe you've got a small child in your house, and you're needing a song to lull them into, I don't know, some kind of state. You could try Broke My Heart in Walgreens and cried all the way to Sears. Although you don't know how far apart those were either. You know, I mean, the, the way the guy sings it, you don't know. If it's like right next door. He might be in a mall. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm assuming I see him in a mall, right? Because Walgreens used to be a big uh, store in malls. You know, uh, I remember being in a mall and there was a, there's an old bookstore called Crocs and Brentanos. Did you guys have those? Crocs and Brentanos. Mm. And there was a Walgreens right next door. I wasn't alive in the 40s. There weren't malls in the 40s either. You don't know. I mean, I I figure. Didn't they still have, they just had like uh, dime stores and stuff in the 40s, right? First shopping mall. Oh, was in Cleveland Heights in 1963. There you go. Wait, that's the Severance Heights. Center. All right. Another, another. 1956 uh, in Minneapolis. Uh-oh, I'm getting mixed reviews here. Okay. I was going to say, another, another gold star on the saying. Cleveland, no, a modern-day mall in the 1922? First, says the first noted shopping mall called the Country Club Plaza was founded in 1922 by the J.C. Nicholas Company in Missouri. Did they, What were their anchor stores? Did they have a Crocs and Brentanos? Did they have a Walgreens? Did they have a Sears and or Roebuck? I don't know. 1877 was the first mall. But that mall, though, that first mall was probably like... Here's a cobbler right next door to the blacksmith. Right? Yeah, right. <laughs> well, that's something to consider, I guess. Dwayne Reed. You don't have those here. You don't have Eckerd here either. I thought it was Reedy. Dwayne Reedy? Every time I saw, because they're all over that's, the place. That's and, one of the old Skinner guitarists, I believe. No, Dwayne Reed would be the. They're, um, they're all over the place in New York. Yeah, and every time I walked past one, I would read it Dwayne Reedy. I don't Dwayne know Reedy. R E A D E? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> why not Dwayne Reedy? Under I those, I don't know. I just uh, under those circumstances, why not Dwayne Reedy? Just in my head, it Dwayne was Dwayne Reedy. Reedy. I don't know why. Hmm. Dwayne Reed was a guy, though, right? I mean, imagine if you started uh, a store and it bore your name long after. Yeah, he's that guy from uh, Perfect World, right? Or Perfect the what's that show? What the show? The, a different world different with world. Jasmine yeah. Guy. Yeah, that guy. That guy. <laughs> That's. Dwayne Wade or Dwayne? No, he that. plays he basketball. Graduated from high school. <laughs> Dwayne College. Du- what was his name? Dwayne Dwayne. Wasn't <laughs> his name was Dwayne Dwayne or something? Dwayne Wayne. Dwayne Wayne. Well, because Dwayne Reed is owned by Walgreens now, so I wonder if that's. I don't know what I wonder. I don't know, uh, but uh, I like this song, and so I'll find myself uh, singing that song. Woolworth. Now that's long that's gone. here, huh? The House of Blues is in the old World Woolworth. Oh, building. it is really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh. That, that whole that whole building that House that of was Blues the old is Woolworth in was building? the old Woolworths. Oh, in, I didn't know yep, that. Where all right. um all of it is. Okay. What's the store? Uh, whatever. I don't where Sealy Clothing is, the whole thing there. All of that. The, all right. Well, I know for sure the part that House of Blues is in. I thought it was the entire like block, but. Well, you might be right. I don't know. So when you worked at the House of Blues, did you have to know the history of the yes, building? Yes, they really? gave. So we used they to have to test? give. Yes, there were tests, and they used to. We used to have to give tours. If people requested a tour, we would have to give them. So we Who had. Who was to know, requesting a tour of dude, the house of the venue? Of the venue, and some people were doing it. Like tourists would be like, "Show me around," because it's each House of Blues location is technically an art museum for folk art. 
Okay. Um, so you had to know like two or three facts about a certain piece or a certain artist. You didn't have to know everything, but right. you had to pick like, hey, here's your certain things. Like every House of Blues has a Blues God ceiling. So like right. at the one in Cleveland, it's right above where you're seated, seated in dining. And you point out a couple, oh, that's so-and-so, that's so-and-so. And then um, you had to pick two or three pieces that you knew everything about. So when you would walk them through the music hall, you're like, oh, this piece, the one that I picked was uh, two mirror image snakes that were hand sewn from like thousands of sequins. Right. You know, but yeah, you had to know the history of the building. The but history like the of- whole, but like art, like the Creole vibe is the same in all of them though. Yeah. Well, there's, yeah. so there's something like the Blues God ceiling is in every single one. Each stage has Mississippi mud underneath it in order to like be built as part of like the juju and all okay. that kind of stuff. So there's certain things that are the same and then each building has different artwork. Gotcha. And then you also had to know the history of the building. Well, yeah, because the one at home, it's like all Blues Brothers and B.B. Yeah, King, yeah, and it's all yeah. that kind of crap, but but it all kind of looks the same. Yeah, they're all similar, but with, you know, depending on what city you're in, you're going to have more. So how many tours did you have to give? You know how fresh, anytime <laughs> anybody asked how frustrating it was, and if you got a secret shopper, you had to give them a tour. So if you thought someone was a secret shopper, oh, you no. had to give a tour, and then it would turn out that they weren't, and they'd still tip you like eighteen percent. You're like, dude, we just I just spent an hour with you guys. <laughs> there was no way to kind of get the heads up that somebody like that was coming in. Right. You, you, oh, no. I'm asking. I mean, there was no. You couldn't be like. Uh, you couldn't be like. Um, oh, hey, we got it on the DL. That the, that guy. Over no, there there's no way to know. Wow. Oh, the only way you would know is that they have to order certain things. So they have to order order an appetizer. They have to order a salad. They have to order two different entrees. One of each. Yeah, they have to order. I'll have the ice cream and the apple brown betty, and you're like, that guy's a secret shopper. Yeah. Nobody orders the that a la mode. Wow. Alan, I love my no netting swim trunks. I like to flop. It's so who wants to flop? I got a hot dog with baloney in my pants. I mean baloney in my pants got a hot dog. That is a banger there, I guess. All right, you know, let's get the hell out of here. Let's we, go. There's baseball coming. Mary's doing something. My whole family's outside the window. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, there you go. Uh, what do you have coming up, William? Uh, check out the Bill Squire Show podcast on YouTube or iHeartRadio or wherever you get your podcast, And check out my specials on my YouTube channel. And uh, go to BillSquire.com to see where I'm going to be doing comedies. The comedies are good. The comedies. Mary Lynn. June 1st, I will be at the Foundry Social in Medina. Grab tickets at foundrysocial.com. Pound cake. Radio Cody B, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Sports break tomorrow. Sports break tomorrow. Sports break. Okay, cool. I'm out there at Alan Cox Show. Uh, you can leave us messages on the iHeartRadio app or voicemails on the After Hours line. It is 216-986-8903. You can watch the show at our YouTube channel, which is The Alan Cox Show. And uh, that's it. Email me for anything. Stickers, whatever.